Welcome to September's Leaco Challenge. Today's problem is shifting letters. You are given a string S of lowercase English letters and an integer array shifts of the same length. Call the shift of a letter the next letter in the alphabet, wrapping around so that Z becomes A. For example, shift of A equals B, shift T equals U, so on and so forth. Now for each shifts of I equals X, we want to shift the first I plus one letters of S X times. For example, if we're given ABC and shifts of 3, 5, 9, we want to shift the first letter three times, so that becomes D. Then we're going to shift the first two letters five times, so it becomes IG. And then the first three letters nine times, so in the end we get a string of RPL. So we know that we're probably going to use the ORD function as well as the character function. We're going to convert this character into an integer. And recall that for something like a, ORD of a is going to equal 97. So what we can do is convert each character into an integer. Then we're going to subtract ORD of a, which is going to be 97, so that a is now going to equal 0. Okay, then we want to shift this however many times in our shifts. And then we have to also do a mod function to make sure if it wraps around, right? So we'll do 26. Then we have to add 97 back and then reconvert that into a character using this character function here. Something like, something like this. So given that we have to shift each um, first letters multiple times, we're going to have to do this in a, in a nested loop. Let's first convert the string into a list. And what I'm going to do is say for the index number as well as the number of shifts in enumerate shifts. We're going to have to do this in a nested for loop. We'll say for j in range of i plus 1. So the first i many letters, right? We're going to say s of j. Let's shift it sh times. So let's see. We have to do ORD of s of j. We're going to subtract ORD of character a. Now we want to shift this. Uh, let's see however many times, sh times. Then we want to do a modular 26 so that it wraps around, right? Then we want to add 97 so that we can reconvert this back into a string character. So something like this. And finally, we should return a string join of s. So let's make sure this works here. Okay, so that looks like it, it's working, but if I submit this, this would reach a time limit exception. And the reason for that is it's a n squared solution, right? So can we do better than this? Well, if you think about it carefully, like we can actually just accumulate the number of times we shift, but we have to do it backwards. So say that we have three, five, nine. Notice how it's like, it's almost as if we're gonna shift the last letter nine times then we're going to sh shift the second letter 14 times. And then we're going to shift the first letter 17 times. And that totals out to be the same thing, right? We don't have to have this nested loop. So the trick is, let's just accumulate these numbers, but we have to do it backwards. So to do that, uh, let's see, we have to say accumulate shifts. But we're going to have to do this backwards. Uh, so let's see here, we'll do reversed. I think we have to reconvert this into a list. Then we're going to uh, reverse this accumulate, and then we're going to reconvert that into a list. And if we did this, we actually don't even need to have this nested for loop. We just change this into an I. I. It should be the same thing. So let me make sure. Oop, okay, accumulate is not reversible. Uh, okay, so maybe I make this into a list and then make this reverse. Maybe that'll work. Yep, okay, so that seems to work. Let's go ahead and submit it. And accept it. So this is an O of N solution. It's just a matter of um, having to do this accumulate and reverse, but it seems to work, so I'm going to end it here. Alright, thanks for watching my channel. Remember, do not trust me, I know nothing.